That's enough out of you. So this is your Western chivalry. I warn you, young man, I write to my congressman. Oh, thank you, ma'am. I'll sure appreciate that. I might get some new ideas. Andrew, he's even insulting. Is it really a hold-up? What does it look like? Oh, here's the ten dollars I owe you from the Pinochle game. Quit your shivering. Nobody's gonna hurt you. I, I ain't shivering, mister. I'm just laughing. <laughs> I, I just paid my honest debts. <laughs> Put your money away, pal. I don't want it. Uh... Sorry, Mr. Collins. But your party would have to come along with me. Andrew, tell this person who we are. I'm afraid he knows, Sarah. Oh, don't be scared, Aunt Sarah. Me? Scared of a man? Well, come on, let's get moving. I got you. Wait just a minute, hold it right where you are. Hey, this isn't your party. Look at that. Hey, what are you putting in for? You weren't invited. It was a hold up, wasn't it? A hold up, nothing. Just a little reception that I had planned for Mr. Collins and his guests. I'm sorry to have detained you. You see, Miss Collins, your father wrote me how keen you were about this wild and woolly western stuff. So I thought you'd be tickled. I am. Almost to death. Andrew, who is this man? Well, uh, he's the manager of my ranch. You're a manager? Mm. And he pulls such childish tricks? Ridiculous. Well, now, you see, lady, uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't... Uh, uh, the whole situation is this. Now, you see, what I was going to do... Andrew! Is, yes. Andrew, you know I have such a weak heart. Oh, dear, I forgot. I guess I made a fool of myself, miss. But I thought it was real. I thought it was real, too, mister. Well, Howell's a name. Blaze Howell. I'm awful sorry I busted your party up. I'm glad. It was rather childish. Except for your part, Mr. Howell. Well... We're going to be at the Cackles Ranch for some time. Won't you come see us? Gee, I'd be glad to. I'll look forward to it. Great. Hey, conductor, conductor! Conductor, conductor! Conductor, conductor, conductor! Take it easy, Porter. What's the matter? What's happened? The messenger am dead. Dead? Yes, sir. And the safe is done blown open. The safe blown open? Yes, sir. Was any money in it? About $50,000. $50,000? Well, the only stranger that's been around here is that interfering cowboy. I think we better hold him, fellas. Let's see at the ranch, man. Let's get him. Come on. Doris, come out from there. It's none of your business. Doris, you listen to your aunt. Now, this has gone far enough. All right, Dad. I'm running after a cowboy. General handsome appearance. Did you get that, Tarzan? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Now I wonder if she wrote that. Huh? You don't know, do you? I guess they like us. They must. Two thousand dollars worth. Well, how long do you expect to remain, Mr. Collins? Oh, about a couple of months. Good. And of course your daughter's going to say, Oh, well, you're coming indeed. Have you heard anything from the train robber? Well, I'm waiting for the sheriff now. Uh, uh, sit down, Sarah. Uh, sit down. Now. What makes you think he's guilty, Aunt Sarah? Everything points that way. And what makes you think he's innocent? Why are you so anxious to accuse this cowboy? Any one of hundreds could have done it. Why, even I could have done it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, even you, Jitters. Oh, I do wish you wouldn't call me Jitters. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Evening, Mr. Collins. Oh, good evening, Sheriff. Well, uh, what have you to report? Nothing, but we'll have our man before morning. Sheriff, you're after the wrong man this time. Well, if he's the wrong man, why did he run away? Well, tell me this. If he did do it, why did he stop to drive your play actors off instead of making his own getaway? Officer, Miss Doris is right. I, and I assure you that this cowboy was even near the baggage car. Where were you when the shooting started? I was in stateroom 10, under my berth. <laughs> well, Sheriff, I'll tell you what I think about it. Innocent or guilty, this fellow's a man. Well, he stood off 10 masked men single-handed, and I'd like to meet him. All right, Mr. Collins, I'll bring him out when we catch him. Oh. Wish you a lot of luck, Sheriff. All bad. <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night, Dad. Uh, Good night, honey. Coming, Aunt Sarah? Yes, I'm coming. Good night. Good night. Good night. You know, Owens? I think we've been carrying too much cash at the ranch. With that last cattle shipment, there ought to be around 20,000 in the safe. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. But suppose we get together in the morning and balance things up. You know, that money ought to be in the bank. Yes, you know, I intend to take that to town tomorrow, Mr. Collins. Mm-hmm. Well, that'll be all right. Before you go, you just give Smithers the uh, combination of the safe, and I'll check up with him. Good night. Night. Say, you know, fellas, this Owen bird ain't fooling me for a minute. Why, he'd double cross his own brother for a chew of the back. Yeah, but if he got the dough, why'd he pull a false robbery on the safe? Now, I'll ask you one. If Blaze got it, why don't he take off? Easy. He's sweet on Miss Doris. Well, maybe you're right. But in any case, Owens will bear watching. Listen, you. I'll do the talking around here from now on. That goes for you birds, too. Now, one of you fellows have got that money, and I want it. What about it, Red? You were supposed to be in charge of the baggage car. Well, I was just touching off the safe when this Blaze started his circus. You didn't want me to stay there and get caught, did you? No, nah, no alibis. One of you birds has got that money, and I want my share of it, or somebody's going to get hung for murder. Well, what about this Blaze Howell? Ah, oh, he ain't got it. He's too dumb. Now, you fellas know why we pull this job. The old man's hauling for an accounting. And I've got to have $20,000 in that safe in the morning, or somebody's going to be kicking air.
Good evening. It's a train robber. May I come in? You asked me to call, you know. Well, I didn't expect a second story call. That's right. I'm sorry, but it seemed the only way. I just had to talk to you. To tell me that you didn't rob the safe and kill the messenger? Don't bother. I'm sure you didn't. I heard what you told the sheriff, and I want to thank you. Then you know. That I'm wanted? Sure, Sarder. Wanted, but not welcome. That's what I came here for, to find out if I was welcome. You are a bit sure of yourself, aren't you? I don't know. A fellow in my position has to be sure. And careful, too. Another reason I called was to find out if I'd be welcome at your party tomorrow night. Emma? But, will it be safe? I'll take care of that, all right. Remember, those are my orders. You get it? Upstairs. Surround the house and don't let him get away. I'm sorry, I can't get out that way. My friends. Go this way. Why, that train robbing cowboys around here, and we're trying to catch him. What? Oh, and oh, oh. we're going to be murdered in our bed. There, there, now, now, Sarah, can be quiet. Oh, what's that cowboy here? What, what's he doing here? Well, I don't know, but I, I think he's calling on your daughter. Daughter?
Now. Good morning, Miss Collins. Did you enjoy your ride? You know, that's the smoothest riding horse we have. Yes, he's splendid. Did you have a nice ride? Uh, oh, yes, yes. yes uh, this uh, morning exercise will uh, make breakfast taste good, won't it? <laughs> yes, quite nice. Uh, yes. Come along. Uh, yes. Uh, sit down. No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Well, that's a good idea. I believe I will, too. I wish they put a bell on that heathen. Why don't you announce your approach? Is it all right? No. More better. I prefer to stand. Daddy, this is the big, silent country. You'll uh, soon get used to it and love it. Yeah. Well, it wasn't silent last night. I'll never get used to those guns shooting, whooping cowboys. Oh, those bony horses. Yes, they, they should fatten them up a little. There they are now. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Doris, did you I enjoy try. that? I should say so. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you're getting to ride pretty well now. Oh, it was lovely. Uh -huh. Come on, dear. <laughs> well, I hope they had a more pleasant morning than I did. <laughs> Now, uh, dear, you uh, go in and have your breakfast. All right, Dad. I've got to go and telephone. And you'll join us later. Right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you have a nice ride, Anselm? Yes, delightful. Mm -hmm. Won't you sit down? No, thank you. We prefer to stand. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes, we're, <laughs> we're only going to just have a bite. <laughs> yes. Lovely morning for a canter. <laughs> All right. I'll be in town on Monday. Naturally, you'll feel a little stiff the first morning. Yes, I understand that. 
But all those bony horses. Well, of course, they're not like your eastern horses. Oh, you'll get used to it, Daddy. Then think of all the good times you can have. Well, I might, but I'm not going to ride again. Horns! Yes? The safe has been robbed! The what? robbed? Yes! Wait. What do you mean? Owens, how much did you have in that safe? Why, all the money from that last shipment, about $20,000. Well, it's gone. Gone? Yes. Oh, this excitement's terrible on my heart. Oh, please, please be calm. Well, it's cleaned out. Money's gone. Did you ever see this before? Yes, it belongs to that train robbing cowboy. You recognize it? Yes. I noticed last night that he only had one glove. Oh. Well, I'll go and telephone the sheriff. Well, I guess I was right about your cowboy friend. I'm afraid you were, Park. But let's not talk about it. Doris, I don't think we should have that dance tomorrow night. It isn't safe. It's dangerous with such a prowler around. Oh, well, we've got to have the dance. You see, I've already ordered my costume. But so have I. I'm going as a Grecian warrior. What are you going to wear? Well, I'm going as a Spanish caballero. You know, I've always wanted to be a Spanish caballero. Will the Spanish Caballero please return my glove if he's quite finished with it? Come on, Owens. Give me that glove. Throw it here. Wait a minute. None of that. By the way, Miss Doris, I'm claiming the first dance with you tomorrow night. You better not come back or you'll regret it. I have no dances for you. Awful sorry I intruded. Adios. Wait a minute. Red, anybody out there? Why, no. I just found this thing sticking in the door. Looks like somebody's playing a trick on you, Owen.
honest, I did. Where? What? Why? When I was running, running away from the train robbery, I was hit on the head by it. Here, you, you can still feel the bump. There. Where? There? Yes, yeah, yes. Oh, 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 oh. If you found it, why didn't you turn it over to the sheriff? Oh, oh, I didn't dare. You see, I heard of the murder. Well, I haven't known what to do. Oh, oh, oh here. Here, you. You, you it. Please, please, I don't know what to do with it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Calm yourself. What we gotta do is to find out who did do this. Yes, 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 but how, how? But, we'll find a way now, wait a minute. But, 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 what can we do? What? Oh, I'd like to, but, oh, what? Hey, wait a minute. You gotta put it away. Yes. Uh, what, what are you going to do with it? Uh, give it back to the railroad company? No. I got a better idea than that. I'm going to use this bait for a trap. Understand? Oh. Uh, there's a thing. Blaze is just nervy enough to show up here tonight. And if he does, well, don't miss. Jack. Keep your eye on that bird red. Double crosser. Keep your eyes open for Blaze Howell. Remember, if he should prove to be this outlaw, the Eagle's shadow, it means a nice reward for us. Party. Yeah. Don't look like this fella Blaze is going to show up tonight. Well, if he does, I've got him. How do you win? Hey, the boss looks pretty good in that outfit, don't he? Remember, Ed, that the boss's orders is to shoot this fella Blaze on sight. Is the boss still over there? Yeah, I just left him. Are you sure? Certainly. Well, that's funny. What's funny? You see him over there, and I see him here. Well, one of us is nuts.
Good evening, Mr. Owen. My men have the place surrounded. If he shows up, they'll nab him. Quite a party, Mr. Collins. Yes, I think it's fairly good. Had any unwelcome callers yet? <laughs> no. I don't think we will have either. Where's Owen? Why, uh, he's dancing. Uh, well, there, there he goes, uh, in that uh, caballero costume. Oh, yeah. You're quiet tonight, Bob. Yes. I was afraid the sheriff might hear me. So it's you. Yes. I promised I'd have the first dance with you. And I never disappoint a lady. Don't stop now. The sheriff's watching. He might suspect something. If you don't let me go, I'll scream. That won't be necessary. We'll dance right over to him. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Why, of course, I'm a murderer. No. Just, you're just as well turn me in. Come on. No, please don't do that. Come on, we'll dance right over by him. Well, Owens, your dancing's improving. Yes. We've been practicing. Haven't seen anything of our man, have you, Owens? I don't think he'll show up tonight. He hasn't an nerve. Oh, he has a nerve, all right, but I don't think he'll come tonight. Let's, let's dance, Paul. Mr. Collins, I think I'll just take a little walk around the ground. Very well. Well, why didn't you turn me in? I wanted to give you a chance to collect that 2000 And spoil my party? Tell me, really, why did you come here tonight? I'll tell you that you're the most beautiful woman in the world. Please believe in me, Miss Doris. It's important. Will you please? Adios. Who was that? Why, just one of the guests? I think it was that plane robber, and you were protecting him. Why cross-question me, then? Because I think you're in love with him. What's that to you, Mr. Owens? Well, if it is him, he'll never get away. Because I've got this place surrounded by my men with orders to shoot to kill. And just let me get my eye on him and see what happens. Why don't you make it two eyes? Uh, I'd like to have a word with you, Mr. Owens. Please. Excuse us, Miss Doris. Take your hand away from that gun, Owens. Take it away. I just wanted to do you a little favor. Yeah? Thought maybe you didn't know that friend of yours, Red, has it express money cats in the old hacienda. How do you know? Oh, I just happen to know. That's enough, isn't it? You expect me to believe that? You can suit yourself. If I was you, I'd believe it. You're being crossed up a plenty. 
That money's hidden under a tile in the fireplace. Just think it over. By the way, Owens, don't you move from this spot for three minutes. You hear? Mr. Collins. Yes, Smithers? I think I found what we were looking for. Well, then we were right, eh? There's plenty of evidence there. Well, now you know what to do. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Certainly. One moment, Owens. Step into the library with me, please. Uh, I'll see you a little later, Mr. Collins. I've got a very important matter I want to settle up with the Red. No, that can wait. Come. Evening, Red. Ah, none of that. Anyhow, I was just figured on doing you a favor. Thought maybe you might like to know who really got that express money. Maybe I know now. Meaning me? No. Listen to me. If Owens makes a break for that old Hacienda tonight, he might be figuring on a getaway. Got it? What's all your interest in this? Well, now, it might be personal. And again, it might be romantic. Think it over. And by the way, Red, don't move for three minutes after I leave here. I'll be watching you. Well, there's quite a party, Mr. Collins. <laughs> yes, yes, quite a party, isn't it? Oh, uh, Smithers, uh, you can tend to that little matter I spoke to you about. Uh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. cigar, Owen? No, thanks. Oh, uh, Owens, I think you told me uh, the other night you had $20,000 in that safe. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Who was it locked? Yeah, I think it was. You think it was? Twenty thousand dollars in the safe, and you think it was locked? Look here, Mr. Collins. What are you getting at? Just this, Owens. I'd like to know where you raised eighteen thousand dollars to make a down payment on that double X ranch. Why do you mean to insinuate that I, I don't insinuate? I state, Owens, you're a thief. And here's the proof to convict you. Your party has been such a success, Doris. Well, I'm so glad you think so. It's been beautiful. Everything has been lovely. Yes, I think everyone has enjoyed it. Aren't they, though? Having such a good time. Enjoying your dance? Excuse me. Oh, why do you stay here? You know the place is surrounded. I must see your father, Miss Doris. Father still thinks you're guilty. Do you? I'm not sure. Oh, I wish you could make me sure. Where is your father? In the library, I think. Thanks. I'll go and see. After I've had a talk with him, I'm sure you'll both believe in me. Pardon. Look here. Daddy! Daddy! Something happened to your father, Miss Collins. I don't know what it was. I found him when I came in on the floor. Oh, why have you done this? Look. Go and find my men. Oh, Daddy! 
Daddy. I didn't do it, Miss Collins. I wouldn't do Daddy, such a thing. What I... Who did this? He did it. I tell you, he did it. Why, oh, Sheriff, Daddy. I wouldn't do such a thing. I had no reason to harm Mr. Collins. They charge him, man. There you go, I tell you. You're doing the wrong thing, Sheriff. Take him out, boys. It was Owens, the thief. I discovered he'd been robbing me. Owens? Yes. He was here when your father sent me for the sheriff. Mm. They're after Blaze. I must go and tell the sheriff that he's innocent. I, I think I know where he'd go. Maybe we can head him off. Get the car, Smithers. Right. Dad. Are you sure you'll be all right? Yes, dear. You go. I must go and help Blaze. Mm.
double crossing rat. Come on, get up from there. Get up. Kind of a scary place, Smithers. Yes, I, I don't like it a bit. Oh, I do hope we're in time. I hope so. Oh, look, there's Owen. Owen! Quick! The car! Come! He took the money and went that way.
Mr. Norris? No. How's your express money, Sheriff? How about Owens? Well, that clears you, Blaze. You'd like to have your say around these parts. Maybe I will, Sheriff. I'll try and persuade him. Boys, we better take a look at the car. <laughs> <laughs> 